Hey there, this is Dave Buick from Third Man Records. I'd like to invite you to join me and my co-conspirators, Ro Peter Hans, Rich Hansen, and Warren DeFever as we do a little discussion, have a little chat about our upcoming Southeast of Saturn compilation. The four of us put a lot of work into it, and we can't wait for you guys to hear it. All right. Thanks. Hey, hey Rich. Yeah. You have kind of an interesting story on how this comp came together for you, right? It was sort of not really planned out. It just sort of fell in your lap, so to speak, upon entering a place. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. So, so uh, <laughs> when my wife was pregnant, we, uh, we ate a lot, of, a lot of Thai food. All she wanted was Thai food. And the place we got Thai food from, there was a record store right next door, and it was basically all I was doing. I was taking care of my wife in the last days of her pregnancy. There's a there was a little little bin of local and it was all burnt hair and mind expansion releases and it was a bunch of stuff that I knew a bunch of stuff that I didn't know and, I, and they were all a buck each and I was like here we go and I took and I took them all home I knew Wendy and Carl I knew Majesty Crush I knew some of the more well known bands that ended up on the comp but I got that and it, and it kind of blew my mind the quality of, of of what was going on from all these bands I'd never heard of. Researching this, you know, I think what's an interesting thing that you find is is how important just a, a record store like that is, or even, you know, because I know the whole staff there was super knowledgeable, Alan and Scoob and everybody, but um, it was it was it's super like, there's just this one focal point, and it can influence just massive amounts of people to pick up guitars or moves yeah. or whatever they're doing. And, and Play It Again was absolutely that for this area. Yeah, absolutely. It's like, you know, like it's... Yeah, like a record store like that, it's, you know, it's nice to see that coming back a little bit. But yeah, that was a thing, I think, back then. Like, it was, you know, yeah, like you said, you'd meet there and find out things and it would t steer you in different directions. Like, you know, everything on the comp, you did a great job compiling this, Rich, because it doesn't all, like, it all fits in that genre, but none of it sounds, you know, the same. Like, everyone took the same right. influences and all went different directions. I feel like in the, in, the, in the shoegaze or space rock continuum, you know, on the one end, the one the one end is more ambient, you know, right? Which basically means no drums, right? And the other end is shoegaze and space rock uh, coming from bands like Sonic Youth and Dinosaur Junior, influencing My Bloody Valentine, which is very very rock and roll, very loud, but yet you know not traditionally song based. Right. So within this compilation, you have someone like Wendy and Carl, who's doing something that really does not does not feel like rock music. Right. It's a very different right. energy. But then Majesty Crush, that's a full on super pop hit. Right. Yeah. Big yeah, time. Absolutely. I mean, but so yeah, I, so I got all these records and I ripped them myself. I made a mix CD for my brother in law actually, who's super he's big My Bloody Valentine sort of shoegaze fan. And he was like, "This is amazing. You've you've got to you, you've got to find somebody to put this out." And so I called I called the pals at Third Man and said, "Guys, I think I got a good idea here." 